and I feel like you're just bubbling with insight for comics that you haven't yeah. been able to share. Yeah. So that's what this is about. Oh yeah, get and it all I, out. Man. I don't mind, and I don't mind because a lot of comedians are not going to do it. That's see, that's what I don't get. <laughs> people withhold information. I'm like, you can give them the sauce, but they got to cook it. They got to cook it. Now I, I do. Eventually, I'm gonna charge. You know, so mm. I'm like, if anybody want information, they better get it out of me now while I'm in this. Just free, yeah, give exactly. it out. But that's why we're here. I've noticed like the information that we sat down to talk, I guess we'll talk about it today. But uh -huh. that information, I've gave it to at least five to ten other comedians. Have they done it? No. Yep. They cause it takes it takes work, man, to do that part of comedy, like the administration part. You know, I, I'm tired of comedians. Like, okay, I started doing comedy. I was doing churches. Mm -hmm. Nothing but churches. Five years in the game in churches. Then some told me to start doing clubs. And I started doing clubs, and I saw why the funniest comedians aren't working. Like you, you gotta, you gotta have a. If you don't have a booking agent or a, a, some kind of booking manager, somebody that's going out to get the bookings for you, how are you getting booked? And I guess they think just going around town and getting on stages, which you can get booked. But how long is that going to work? I mean, mm -hmm. so it takes a. It's an administration part that I don't get. Like especially full time comedians. If you what do you do during the day? Do you just play video games and chill and lay down and then go out on the stage at night? Is that what you think this comedy business is about? And it, it's not. So I've I told comedians and I I follow up. Did you do it? Ah uh, yeah, I did it one day. <laughs> but man, you know, I'm like, all right, stop complaining about getting booked then. Boom. So let's yeah. get into it. Let's get into the administrative work. Oh yeah. So. We I feel like one, this. we can do one at a time. Too, no, because I know you got a couple different streams. So, here. so I feel like this. When I worked at Clayton State, I had to be in my office at eight. I got off at five o'clock. You know, luckily I was a recruiter, so sometimes I didn't have to go in till you know. If I went to a school, I'd probably go home or something like that. But usually, you work nine to five job. From nine to five is like I see so many people entrepreneurs. They give all this energy and their life to a job for nine to five and they give all they like give it all to them and complain. I'm doing all this for this company, man. They don't give me a raise, blah, 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 blah. Then they jump off their job and it's like, what are you doing from nine to five? You sleep in till what, when? So I treat my comedy like a nine to five. I wake up every morning. I'm at my desk. Well, now I'm at a, I'm on a morning show. So I have to be up at three 30 every morning Ooh. from, from <laughs> cause Ooh. the show start at five. Look, Ooh. sometimes I can get up at four and still make it. Because I have to I have my segment. I write my segment. And I have to be at that station at least by 4.30 before 5 o'clock. Because my my segment is the first segment that they do. It starts, it's come on at 5.10. Well, earlier than that because we have to do a teaser. So I have to be up then. I go home. I may take a quick little nap. Then I wake up and I start my my job. I get on the computer and start booking. You know what I'm saying? So, But before I was doing that, I would wake up at 8 o'clock, get dressed, be at my desk at 9 o'clock. And, and I get that? off at five. See, you don't for myself. And you treat it. You may do like a lunch break, but you structure. I do it. Day sometimes like I don't. Sometimes I. You know, if you if you work from home, you know, the kitchen right there. You just pick you something and get back to work. So I don't really take lunch breaks like that. But I, what I'm saying is, I treated it as if I I was working at Clayton State University. Yeah, I'm giving myself the same amount of energy I gave those people, and I get tired of people not putting that energy that they gave someone else. And to themselves, I don't, I don't get it. That's the thing with like, especially if we're just keeping it comedy based is like being a full time comedian and you're at home, it's like you have the freedom to do whatever you want, but it's right. also, you have the freedom to do whatever you shouldn't. So right. I have trouble cause you know, I'm full time working from home and I have trouble staying focused or like committing an entire day. Like I may, mm -hmm. I may be able, some days, you know, I do other yeah, days yeah. it's like an hour and then I get like ADD or whatever. Like, yeah, do yeah. you? How do you keep yourself within that structure of the day? I got to pay these bills. So it's just but needs based. I, I have to pay. And, and it's like, I yeah. did it for a job. Right. Like I did it for a company. I gave them, I was on time. Yeah, right? me too. Yeah. <laughs> like every day. Yeah, yeah. I wasn't missing. So it's like, I don't, why not do it for yourself? And and sometimes you have to, um, you know, sometimes I find myself, if I do that, I'll, I used to leave the house and maybe go to Starbucks. Like, get out the house and go work in another environment if you're getting uh -huh. kind of like, oh, okay, I'm getting lazy. You know what I'm saying? But most of the time, man, if you have your setup, you have your desk, don't sit on your couch. Yeah. Don't be relaxed. You know, 
get a desk, get a, a workspace, and get fully dressed, take a shower, but like you're going on a job. And sit at that desk and, and get to work. Hot breath.